time to use natural logs to solve equations. So natural logs are functions that you've seen before, but there's a special property that they have that is very helpful in solving equations. And here's that property. When you have natural log of something to a power, that power can come down out in front, and it looks like this. So I'm going to rewrite that property at the top of the page here. And I want to solve for x. We're going to use this property in a second, but I think, first off, we could probably guess and check. 2 to the x equals 16. What power can you put on 2 to get 16? Yep, 4. So there it is. There's our answer. That's what we know we should get. Now let's see if we can use natural logs to solve 2 to the x equals 16. Here's what you do. You take natural log of both sides. It's an equation, so whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So you slap a natural log around both of those. The property of natural logs up in the top left there allows you to take that x and bring it down out in front. So let me rewrite this. This is what it turns into. Now it's x times ln of 2. ln of 2 is just a number, so you can divide by it and this is what we get for x. Now you slap that into your calculator and you get 4. There's a natural log button on your calculator so that's what you're going to use. Now here's a common mistake I see. When solving 2 to the x equals 16 people know that they need to use natural logs but they use natural log on the left side on one side and then they do it on another side over on the right there. You never write the natural log after the parentheses. That's bad news. Natural log is a function. You always write it before the parentheses. You would never write parentheses x of f or something like that when you really mean f of x. You always write the function before the parentheses. So here is how it should look. So if you want to solve 2 to the x is 16, put the natural logs on the left side and then the parentheses and then 2 to the x and natural log parentheses 16. Alright, your turn to solve for x using natural logs and your calculator.